So today we're going to um, first configure SNMP on a Linux host, and we're going to do a very, very basic SNMP configuration. So once we get that up and running, we're going to discover the SNMP server in IMC, um, and then we're going to set up the disk monitors and the performance views so you can actually track your disk stats on your Linux hosts. Um, we are using Red Hat Linux, so uh, again, Google is your friend. Look for documentation online and examples, and that will probably help you get through this. Let's take a look. So here we are on the Red Hat appliance. Um, this is the IMC Smart Connect bundle, which is available now, OVA platform. So the first thing we're going to do here is open a terminal session. Um, so this just gets us into a, um, a terminal, CLI, and we are logged in here as root, so we're going to have no problems with privileges to do any of this stuff. So we're going to change directory to Etsy SNMP, and we're going to move the uh, snmpd.conf file and just rename it to .old. Always a good habit, back up things before you actually change them. So now we're going to vi in snmpd.conf, and we're going to insert the following lines. Get a little comment here just to make sure we know what file we're working with. Um, let's put another comment so that we know this this is going to be the uh, the access section. So the SNMP strings we're going to create read only community. We'll make this public, nice and easy. Um, put the IP address that's going to be allowed to access this. So this is kind of like an access list. And we're going to do read only community private. Uh, we could do a read write there. But we'll just go with that for today. No write access to my server. So um, we'll fix that keyboard error. In this section, we're going to um, put the SNMP commands to include all disk stats. And although you could do these one by one, um, Linux has a nice little line in the SNMP d.com file. We can include all disks. Linux is a case operating, uh, case sensitive operating system. So make sure that you do have the caps um, in the appropriate place. And there we are. And now we will um, exit the VI session here, or save first, and then exit. And then we're going to make sure that um, the SNMPD is set to run at startup. Uh, sorry, not all, on. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to restart the SNMP daemon on this Linux host, just to make sure that everything is working properly. So OK, OK, everything's great. Now we're going to flip over to the IMC box. So in this case, we've already got the host discovered in IMC. Um, it is only an ICMP device, um, of course, because it doesn't have any SNMP on it. We're going to click the Synchronize button, and then click Refresh. And you can see using the default strings of public and private, we now have um, SNMP discovery of this device. We can tell it's a Linux box, um, contact, all that kind of stuff. So the next thing we're going to do here is add monitors for the disk stats. So we'll performance, monitoring settings, add monitor. We're going to flip over to the monitoring instances here and select the index we want. So in this case, this is going to be just like the Windows boxes. Server, server storage usage, percentage. Scroll down and click OK. Now we're going to select the instances we want to. So this is the device that we want to actually start pulling. So we're going to go down into the virtual devices again and pick the Linux series. So this is the 10.101.0.2.2. Click OK. And now we're going to select the specific instances that we want to pull. So we're, we're going to pull, um, these are going to come directly from the SNMP, and we're just going to choose the storage devices, that um, the actual disk drives that we want. So we don't have to worry about physical memory, virtual memory. We're just going to grab disk stats. Click OK. All three su were successful. Um, we're good. Click Close. So now we're going to go over to the performance views. And we're going to add another performance view. And just like we did on the Windows video, we're going to create a trend line here. We're going to select the index that's, that we want to view, server storage again. We're going to collect the devices that we want to, want to have in this view. And we're going to say the Linux devices. So again, this one particular server, we'll select that down here. Click on the Next button. And now we're going to be able to select which specific of, of the available pulls do we want to actually have in the view. So um, we could have everything, again, this, everything that's available is getting pulled by SNMP, but we've only told it to pull um, the individual 
the top three, right? The, um, the slash, the slash boot, slash dev, SHM. So those are the only three that we're going to have in the view because otherwise everything would be empty. We're going to create a descriptive name for the view. So this Linux disk stats or space, we'll call it space, um, be consistent with the Windows view and performance view added successfully. Click on the close button. So the next thing we're going to go to here while we're waiting for this to populate with some data is we're going to go over and change the monitoring settings to alarm when these when the disk stats get over a certain amount of space. So we're going to use the query function here to quickly get to just the device we want. So 10101202. Click the query button. A couple seconds later this comes back and we're going to click on the instances button over here, the instances icon where we've got 15 pulled instances on this machine. Right, so you can see what we're actually um, currently pulling. And we're going to modify the storage. So we're only going to do one of these today. All right, but again, do these for as many of the drives as you want, um, just to make sure you, you are getting alarmed when you get um, conditions where you're over a certain amount. This is, again, just a good habit to get into. Um, you could do this globally as well. That would be the other way to do this. Um, we're going to create a minor alarm when the disks are over 80% utilized and we're going to do a major alarm when they're over 90% utilized. And again, uh, we're not really concerned, you would, we're not going to get that much disk space using quickly, so we'll change the interval um, to 600 seconds or 10 minutes here. And then we click OK. So that's good. Now we're going to click the close button, and now we'll go back over and look at our performance views and see what we've got here. Linux disk space. You can see we've started to populate with some data. So we've got um, hardly any disk space used at all here. And that is how you add Linux, Linux disk space statistics and track that within your IMC box. And again, all the regular performance view stuff is available to you here. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.